the bottom for Bitcoin and for the crypto market could be in or it could be getting very close. Uh, I hope that I can bring you some hopium today as to why you should not be freaking out, you should not be panicking. We are still in the middle of a bull run and the best, most parabolic, euphoric leg of the bull run is still yet to come. So simply looking at the chart here of Bitcoin, we'll get into a bunch of tweets, a bunch of other charts, but just the chart here itself that I have with my lines, my boxes, all we've been doing since we made this high back here in March is ranging. Every time we've been at the top of the range, we've come down to the bottom. Every time we've been at the bottom of the range, we've come back up to the top. Here we deviated the bottom of the range, we came back up to the top of the range. And now we've come back to the bottom of the range. Nothing structurally has broken. We are still just ranging and we're still above 60K. So that's that. Um, when we're in a range like this, what would we expect after we come to the bottom of the range? We go back to the top of the range. Until this is broken, I wouldn't expect anything otherwise. So let's move into some tweets. We've had a lot of panic uh, in the past 24 hours with a lot of FUD between like Mt. Gox and a couple other things, um, German government selling Bitcoin, all this stuff, all this noise. But here from Charting Guy, the crypto market typically gives you the most pain before the most relief. Prepare for the unexpected. And there's just a lot of signals like you're going to see in these charts that we're, we're entering that area where like things are really, really fearful right now, really, really swinging one way to more like oversold, um, extreme fear. It, it looks like we're at or we're near a bottom if we're not there yet. Here from Crypto Insight UK, Bitcoin has taken liquidity between 58 and 63K. We do have a small pocket of liquidity at 56K which makes sense as it's our current low. We have a lot of liquidity above between 72 and 74K, showing that a lot of people would get stopped out of positions if we were to pump back up to those highs and go through those highs. More confluence there, right? Um, here from Sensei, that was the bottom. Enjoy the bull run. Hopefully he's right. Here from Easy Bitcoin, so far so good. The bottom is in for BTC. So here he is showing a Wyckoff reaccumulation schematic showing how we would have just completed this creaking phase. Now we are waiting and we should get a big explosive move uh, back up to the top of the range and then subsequently break out of the range and go on the continuation of the bull run into new highs. Here from Mustache, Bitcoin, a red signal has appeared in the better RSI for Bitcoin. Over the past two years, the signal has always predicted that Bitcoin is very close to bottoming out or has already reached the local bottom. Choose your side. So every time our RSI on the daily has come down to this uh, range and a red dot has been printed on this, um, this RSI indicator, that has been at or very close to the bottom before we moved back up. So the last time this dot printed was after our capitulation in August of 2023. Uh, after that, we arranged for a couple months and then we ultimately had our breakout, which led to and started our run up to 48K and then eventually up to our current all time high at like 74K. Before that, it was when we had that crash down to 19,000 in early 2023, marked the bottom shot up to 30k and the time before that was during the FTX collapse. So it has been a pretty solid indicator and it has just flashed again with this recent liquidation and dump down for Bitcoin. Continuing on, Bitcoin dominance is losing momentum. We are entering alt season. So just showing here, yeah, Bitcoin dominance has been losing steam here for a while and it looks like it is almost ready to roll over, hopefully. Um, and once this thing rolls over, we are expecting a big parabolic all season on this next leg up. So here from Lark Davis, last time we saw RSI at this low on Bitcoin, the price was 25,000. Six weeks later, the price started the rally to 74K. Yep, just showing the daily RSI lower than it has been since back at that previous capitulation we had August of last year. 
here from mags bitcoin daily rsi just entered the oversold zone for the fourth time since the 15.5k bottom and again showing here every time we've entered this zone it's been at or very close to the bottom for the price here from nick uh, enjoy feeling the fear pain happiness and euphoria because at some point you will feel numb to it all for some people it takes a full bull and bear cycle for others it just takes a few months of being in the space once you become numb the market becomes easy i agree man uh it used to be frustrating to watch price swings like this i feel pretty numb to it at this point obviously i'd love for it to go up instead of go down um, that's why we're here but it, it doesn't emotionally impact me the way it did when I first started getting into crypto. I, I treat it as a very long-term thing. Buy, hold, wait, and uh, just do research on the projects you believe in. Here from Kush, uh, sure it's possible we have a prolonged triangle correction or a C leg uh, lower, but the way miners are behaving has me thinking we just made a sub wave two and entering three of an extended fifth. So he thinks that we are about to just continue this impulse upwards um this was credible crypto's thesis as of the past few weeks but he said 60k was the invalidation so he's changed his mind now and we're going to get over to one of his tweets in a second uh here from kevin showing the idea of having that prolonged triangle making this go closer to the fall or the end of 2025 before we break out and keep moving up and then, yeah, here from Credible Crypto, yeah, this actually brings us more in line with my targets for uh, Bitcoin cycle top this year. Of course, things will really kick off once the fourth wave completes. So we have, have to be a little patient until then. We will discuss this more in the updated video. So he thinks now that we are in a larger macro fourth wave for Bitcoin. So it would be wave one right here, wave two correction right here, wave three right here, wave four correction right here, and then we get our big wave five. And it's funny because I was saying this um, a couple weeks ago, I was looking at this, how this correction we have here does look quite similar to what we're doing now, you know, something like that. And we have this capitulation down now. It came a bit sooner than the last one, but now we would just be waiting to settle, start to creep up a little and then get that breakout to come again uh, so I think it's interesting could take some more time as everyone's saying or it could come quickly who knows we'll have to wait and see uh, here from Vivek this is how the recent crash looks like when uh, when in doubt zoom out just showing it really hardly nothing anything has changed we're still near those all-time highs and look how much Bitcoin is up over the past you know decade uh, what if that whole Bitcoin correction was just an inverse head and shoulders back test here from charting guy Crypto Michael, the pump will be televised. And from Sensei, bear trap, be ready. Thanks, we're ready to go. So that's all for the video. I hope I could give you a little hopium, um, a little positive energy during this uh, little crash we're having over the past 24 hours. Uh, if I could and you did enjoy it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.